Hey everybody, welcome back to the Craftonomical SMP, AZ here, and uh, today we're going to be building a mob farm. But before we do that, we're going to have to build some actual power. And before we do that, I want to get you guys caught up on some stuff that's happened off camera and on stream. So completely off camera, I have created this hardened armored jetpack, which is pretty sweet. Uh, it works like a normal jetpack. I've also created this hang glider, which you might have seen from any number of full craft videos or streams but the cool thing about my jetpack is it has rainbow smoke <laughs> i think that's pretty cool um and of course the hang glider just acts like a hang glider as you would expect so that's pretty cool that's how i've been getting around i've done a bit of exploring uh way down to the south and kind of north and northeast uh i found a few roguelike dungeons and I believe that by the time this video comes out, Vitagavia and I, and whoever else wants to join, will have already streamed um, the conquering of those dungeons. So I'm trying to keep these videos to one a week so that uh, I can keep the series going as long as I can. I don't want to run out of stuff to do in the first month. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so let's, uh, let's talk about some power stuff. So I've also been doing a bit of mining, and I'm still... Uh, Still going through all of these things. Getting it all sorted. I need to get, as I said, automated. Uh, whoa, whoa, they're going to the deep dark. A little bit of lag there. <laughs> uh, need to get some actual ore automation. Some automated automation <laughs> processing. Sorry, it's still early. I haven't drank my first cup of coffee yet. But uh, I'm still getting that. I still got to do that. But I have figured out how to make this little bit work the way I wanted to. So I don't know if you guys remember, before I had this energy cell was on the ground and the thermoelectric generator was hooked up to the controller and to the energy cell. The coal generator was off to the side. I think it was actually up here. And um, it, this, it just wasn't, it wasn't working for me because what was happening was when I was running these machines, obviously this thing would be losing power like it is. And uh, instead of putting power into both the controller and the energy cell, it seemed to only put power into the energy cell. And that wasn't good because when I'm running these machines for a while, eventually this thing would run out of power. And as we can see now, with the way I've got it hooked up now, it's fine. So that's good. I'm glad that's working. But this is one of the things we're going to be hopefully fixing today because I can then put the thermoelectric generator only on the controller and then not have to worry about anything else. Uh, or I could leave it set up the way it is just to get a little bit of extra power into here. Um, the idea is that I always want to have power in the controller though, so maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, but yeah, now I've got the coal generator on here, so if this starts getting really low, I can pop a few pieces of coal in here and away we go. So on stream, I've added another little room down here. Uh, we've got four water mills, and all of this is going to change. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is all going to change in this episode, as a matter of fact, because I don't know where else to put the mob farm. Um, the reason I have these water mills is so I can have this wireless RF battery, which requires four grid power, and then these wireless RF transmitters, which each require one. And these things are great uh, because then I don't have to run power wires everywhere for all these different machines. Uh, I've got a, a latex setup, or a, I guess a plastic setup. This is a, so you, you guys have probably all seen this before. I've got a mechanical user with, I put in a stack of logs. This tree fluid extractor extracts fluid latex, pumps it into this latex processing unit, which receives the latex. It also receives water from, uh, well, I'm not gonna be able to show you, but there's a water, water condensator right right there you can see that servo right there is pulling water from it uh, and then the latex processing unit obviously turns the fluid latex into tiny rubber balls which then you turn into uh, I think uh, just dry rubber and then uh, you can cook that dry rubber into plastic and I needed that plastic to make industrial foregoing machines which is good that we did that because uh, we're gonna need a couple at least one uh, for this project. Let me take this off because it's a bit annoying when I'm just hopping around the base. So the reason I did all that on stream, and this was all done real quick, I just wanted to get it done so I could get a resources fisher because 
I'm sitting here thinking, you know, I really want to get some enchants for this, and I didn't know how to do it. I, I, I tried enchanting one <laughs> that I had. This is an all-in-one tool, by the way. It's obsidian. It's uh, it's got a lot of durability on it, which is why I wanted it. It's got a harvest level three. It can, it can mine anything in the game, which is another reason I wanted it. But it doesn't have any enchants on it, so it's kind of slow. I'd like to get efficiency and unbreaking on there, uh, at least. Uh, I'm not sure if I... I probably want fortune on it as well. Um, but, at any rate, uh, and maybe get one with silk touch. So what I'm hoping for is use this resources fisher, and that's piping all the stuff in here. This works like an AFK fish farm. So you get the stuff you typically expect, fishing rods, bows, uh, bones and saddles and boots, tripwire hooks name tags, along with all the different types of fish you can get in this game. Now, I let this run the whole stream once we finished building it while I was up exploring in this general direction, uh, and I ran out of power, of course, because the only source of power I really had was that little thermoelectric generator, and, uh, and I was like, well, that's not really going to work. That is not going to work. And then I, I saw in another video, I saw, oh, I better sleep. <laughs> I saw in another video the thing that I was thinking of that I couldn't remember what it was called, which is surprising because it's such a simple name. What I want is the Enchanter from Ender.io. That's why I couldn't remember what it's called. We didn't have Ender.io last pack. This Enchanter does not do what you want. This Enchanter from Extra Utilities, I'm pretty sure it works just like a normal enchanting table. Um, however, this book... If we, if we go and look, let's say we look up uh, efficiency, right? Efficiency, and we look at this efficiency five book, guess what? We can craft it in the enchanter, which is exactly what I wanted. I wanted a way to craft the specific books that I wanted. And uh, I'm not sure what's going on with this, why it's flipping through all these different things. This specifically says it's in efficiency five, but I suspect that this one, the 60, 15, and 33 levels, is actually what it takes to get efficiency five. I'm guessing the other ones are uh, are the same. Yeah, that just flips through all of them. So, if like if I want efficiency five, I need all this stuff. I need 33 levels. So that's why we are going to build a mob farm so we can get some levels. It's uh, we're also going to be able to get ender pearls from it, which is great. And uh, yeah, so that's been a lot of talking. Sorry about that. Uh, real quick though, I want to show you how I plan on doing some things. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to build some energy cells, uh, or not, not energy cells. I'm going to build some power cells, uh, these guys. So I'm going to build three of these and I'm going to get these prismarine shards from the atomic reconstructor with the nether quartz. So it takes two prismarine shards, four blocks of redstone, an emerald, and a diamond, and a machine frame, which is pretty easy to do. All the stuff I have, so I'm going to build three of these, three cards, link them all together. That way I can have uh, an input in the nether, an output up here, and another output down below. Uh, then I'm going to take, and I'm going to take an RF tools build, I don't need to type in RF. A builder from RF Tools, uh, which requires an Ender Pearl, of which we only have two left. That's why I'm not using Ender Tanks uh, yet, at least. I'm gonna build one of these guys, and then from the builder, we're gonna use a pump card, a, a clearing pump card, which requires a. Uh, you need to build a shape card, which is pretty simple, right? Some bricks, paper, redstone, iron, uh, and then you turn that into a pump card with a bunch of stuff and then you turn that into a clearing pump card the reason i want a clearing pump card is because i want it to take the lava and just take it and not replace it with dirt which is if you have just a regular pump card that's what happens and that's what happened in the nether last time i think it looks better without lava rather than filling the nether full of dirt so as you gathered i'm going to be in the nether uh and that's also why i'm not using this fluid pump by the way because this will exchange the lava for dirt um, so yeah, that's, that's a thing that we don't want, but, uh, we're going to be pumping lava out and I can't decide if I want a, uh, one of these magmatic generators. Uh, it doesn't tell me how much power it produces or a magmatic dynamo, which just requires hot fluids. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the magmatic generators because these I think look cooler. 
<laughs> uh, I guess, well, that requires a lot of gold, and this does not. So maybe, maybe we're going to do that. So I'm going to spend some time crafting up all the stuff off camera, and I'll meet you guys back in the nether. All right, guys, so we're here in the nether, and I've made a terrifying discovery. There are, like, exploding bats in here. I've already almost died twice uh, just trying to find a spot that I think would work for us. Uh, I think we're good now. Uh, I think I will... Actually, I kind of want to come out over on this little island over here. But we're going to get set up here. I'm pretty sure I've got everything that I'm going to need. Uh, huh. You know what I don't have? Oh good, I have a bucket. <laughs> a single bucket. Uh, because I'm going to actually need to power the builder before I can use it. But then uh, we will... We'll be able to pump power back into it. Uh, you'll see. It'll be it'll be cool. It'll work. It'll work. So builder, bam, and then we're going to take our shape card. Now this actually might take a minute, so I'm going to uh, try and figure this out. So what we've got to do is, you know, we we have our shape, and then we're gonna change the dimensions. Uh, I think we'll go with 15 by 15 by 15 but the offset is what's important and I need to know which direction so I'm gonna mess with this for a bit and then I will come back to you once I figured out where exactly I want this to go all right I'm back and I've got a total of six magmatic dynamos now all feeding into this one uh, power cell and as I suspected this is now saying hey there's no room for liquid so it's basically stopped trying to dig, and as it stopped digging, it's slowly building power. And once this reaches full capacity, we'll start seeing that power build up inside of the power cells, which is good. That's what I want. So uh, I think this will work for now. Um, yeah, I think we're good here. I think we can go back and start working on the... Um, mob farm. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've been busy down here uh, getting this set up, ready to go. We've got, uh, this is a 7x7 seven seven mob farm. We've got some lights in the ceiling so that we can turn it off when we don't want it. Uh, we've got some dark glass in here. I think uh, if this works the same as it did in the last pack, um, there will be a little bit of light bleeding through around here, but not that much, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But uh, I'll go ahead and flip this back on. I've got a drop of evil that Nina found, so we'll put that in here. Good to go there. We'll put the last two bits of dark glass in there. And now when we turn this light off, we should be getting bunches of mob spawns in there. Uh, but before we do that, I want to go ahead and hook up the rest of this stuff. So we've got a medium storage crate for now. Uh, I imagine at some point I will be uh, probably taking all this stuff out and will put in, and as a matter of fact, let me uh, go ahead and swap this to this side. So we'll probably be taking all this stuff out and putting in like a wall of, um, of drawers so that we can, we can just hold all the mob drops and drawers down here. But uh, for now, I think this will work. Uh, also underneath here, we're going to be pumping the mob essence, or I think it's just called the essence now, down into this drum, which is good. Um, and then, let's see. Oh yes, right, we need power. So we'll put a power cell down here. I've already linked this to the one in the nether, so as we can see, oh wow, that's actually got a lot less power in it than I was hoping for, but I, we're going to have to go check that out. We're going to have to go uh, find out why. We might just need more magmatic crucibles. That might just be what we have to do. Um, but I can do that later off camera. Uh, and now we're going to hook all this stuff up is with a signatum plated item duct, which is going to go right here like that. So now this should be, uh, well, we'll change this to out. Uh, and of course, it's empty now, which is not great. We've got a little bit of power here. Uh, this is not working out the way I'd hoped for. <laughs> so I really need this to get power. Uh, I mean, are we getting power in here? Looks like it uses max 
Uh, 40 RF per tick, so we should be able to get some stuff going here. Hmm. This is a little frustrating. I know that builder just takes up so much power. Uh, I wonder how much power the, the other pump uses. I don't know. We'll, I'll, I'll look at that in a bit. Let's just see. Still only 242. Wow, that is kind of nuts. All right, let's I'm gonna let's pop back over and see what's going on with our power generation because that I I kind of thought that that was gonna be uh, gonna be picking up here pretty soon. Well, not really sure why this was having problems. Uh, when I got here, this was not completely full. So what I did was I just moved the power cell over by one block and then connected it up with this leadstone flux duct. What that'll do is I'm pretty sure if we look at the leadstone flux duct, hold shift, uh, it only transfers a thousand RF per tick. Um, so that will kind of throttle the amount of power that's going into this machine rather than, because I think this one, if we look at it, uh, it doesn't doesn't actually say oh 5,000 RF per tick, so this will basically reduce the amount of power transfer by what like 80 percent. So it's it's only got one fifth of the amount that it was having when it was directly connected. So I think that'll help us out a little bit. And as we can see, we've already been building up quite a bit of power here, so we should be we should be good to go on that. I still think I'm gonna add more magmatic generators. Not really sure how I'm going to do that, but uh, yeah, we'll do that probably off camera between episodes. All right, back down here, and yeah, we've definitely got lots of power now. And the cool thing about these are they don't actually take that much power. Uh, they only hold 1,000 RF. They use 40 RF per tick, um, but they only use power really when there's bad guys to kill, basically when it's working. At least that's the way it used to happen. So, uh, all right, let's throw the switch and see what happens. Yeah, getting mobs spawning in here. Oh, that's interesting. I thought it killed him in one hit. That could be a problem for Enderman, which is what I'm hoping for. Because, uh, you know, if you hit an Enderman, he's going to teleport away, probably. And then we'll end up having Enderman all over the place. Hmm. Uh, I still think it's hitting him, killing him in one hit. Oh, see, he was taking damage just then. I know a lot of them are dying in one hit. I guess, uh, I guess we'll hang out here for a bit and see what happens. Well, all right, I haven't been sitting here for that long, but long enough to uh, to see that it is killing Enderman. We are getting Ender Pearls, so that's working out just fine. We're gonna bunch of other stuff here. I forgot about the. Uh, the golden leggings and, and all the armor and stuff. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to rethink this storage system. We'll probably work on this um, possibly in a stream next week um, or or in the next episode. Not really sure yet. But uh, yeah, I think that's probably all the time I've got for this episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave me a like, leave me a comment down below. Check out the links in the description. There's uh, all kinds of stuff down there. And then until next time, this is AZ Badfish signing out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.